Thank you. You have seen this afternoon different techniques for the small and early treatment. And I would like to share with you the fact that finally, first of all, is a good option for that. Keep in mind the way of fixation and the anchoring of this valve, which is in three points. At the analyst level, at the sinotubular junction, and as you can see, the struts who are curves take place in the valve salva sinuses. So this, this gives you a perfect stability of this device. The tissue as well known, this is the tissue you find in the solo valve. So I will not take time on this. It's more than 20 years ago. The stent which is uh, made with um, nitinol is termic sensitive and the evidence of the test shows a long durability such as the uh, quality of the tissue and the device who as you can see on the slide was tested three times more than the requirement for FDA that means around 15 equivalent years and you can see also on the movie the fact that you have a certain elasticity of the device when the uh, leaflet clothes and it works as a shock absorber and this diminishes the stress you may imagine to have at the level of the commissure close to the suture of the pericardium. <laughs> the collapsing of the valve does not affect the tissue as you can see on this study was done, which is not exactly the same thing with Tever. It's not a crimping, it's just a collapsing, and as you can see on the uh, slide, the tissue is not affected by the collapsing. The collapsing is made with the uh, valve holder with a white cup at the extremity of the aortic stand, and another system embed the uh, sinotubular junction, so everything is collapsed without uh, any uh, problem concerning the uh, tissue and the collagen is completely free of any um, disruption. The first clinical study was done with the 31st patient and we follow them at five years. <coughs> And this is extremely interesting to see the result at five the result at five years. Because we obtain exactly what we expected, but it's better to get them. That the procedural implantation of the valve was always possible. No explant, no tremble this, no stroke. One perspicure implanted that we will discuss this after. And no valve dislodgement, neither migration reported and no structural valve disease. So this correspond to what we expected to the result of the preclinical study done in, in animals. And after this first trial, the, the end of the clinical trial was done with in, in 25 center with uh, uh, seven, a little bit more than 700 patients. And the results were identical to those. The pacemaker implantation was fixed person, which corresponds absolutely with the classic ratio of pacemaker for the uh, aortic surgery with classic valve. We neither obtained and, and, and observed neither dislodgement nor migration, and by the way, at five years, no uh, structural uh, valve dysfunction, neither disruption of the pericardium. So this confirmed the quality of the device and the easiness of the implantation. With regard to the hemodynamic result, and this is paramount for the small annually, as you can see here at five years, all the uh, gradient were below 10. It showed that with the smallest valve sizes, an equivalent of 21. 
M23, L25. XL did not exist at that time, but XL which exists actually as 27. You see that this represents a real plus in the quality of the post-operative gradients at five years. So there's this valve for sure, it's a bioprosthesis. This fits for all the patients requiring an aortic valve replacement. But those who could ben be more beneficial are the patient who are for sure sensitive to cross clamping time because it's a rapid uh, surgery and the implantation when it's done in routine last concerning the aortic valve between around 15 minutes. The patient who are technically challenging uh, and, and with adverse approach of the aortic root uh, also are extremely uh, beneficial for this use of Percival and you found in this group the small anally, definitely. But the aortic calcified root, the adverse approach of those areas are, by the way, uh, extremely interesting to do this, even the redo. And the patient who needs a fast recovery and the smooth uh, post-operative courses also are beneficial. The old patient, the obese, the diabetic patient, and all and so and so. And, and you see that finally this device works for a lot of patients. It works by definition for all the patients requiring an aortic valve replacement, but also in particular those who have specific problem and, and, and the possibility of uh, difficulty uh, or in the surgery or the, the post-operative course. Here you can see that the uh, cross clamping time has minimized by this technique due to the uh, simplicity and velocity of the implantation. We divided per, let us say, to the cross clamping time in the classic approach. When you do minimal invasive surgery uh, or th with a mini stenotomy, but especially with the right and anterior thoracotomy, the cross clamping time may be a little bit uh, higher, but not that much. And so that makes a great advantage for this. And we also do a medical economical study according to the quality and velocity of this type of surgery. We compare two really equivalent cohorts of patient, of 65 patient, with an isolated valve, aortic replacement, once with Percival, the other with the classic suture valve. We observe, and this is interesting, that you implant a larger valve. And this is clear that with a traditional valve, look at the number of, and the percentage of 21 and 19 valve we implant with regard to the smallest in, in the Percival group. And on the opposite, you have a lot of M, a lot of L compared with the uh, classic valve. So this is interesting with regard to the uh, post-operative courses, there's a gradient and it's sensitive for the patient to have a uh, small analysis. When we look at the, the, the dissection of the um, expenses for the uh, cares of those patients, for sure we, we found the, the diminishing of the cross clamping time. And the best advantage was during the last the length of stay in the hospital, in the uh, ICU, more than in the classic world. And you know that the cost of one day of ICU is something which is extremely interesting to save because it's costly. So we observe that by this study, finally, we save in comparison with the classic valve, around 15% of the budget we engage for that. In our practice, this is around a little bit less than 5,000 euros, but that means that this saving, this way to save money 
compensate the extra cost of the uh, acquirement of the device. So this is interesting for it. There is other studies made by other centers who give equivalent result, and in terms of percentage, this represents the same thing. So it's interesting to keep this in mind also for the administration. And if we want to summarize this, this is really something which is safe for sure, but easy and rapid to do. There is some tips and tricks. You have to learn how to do it, but it's nothing difficult. We do in our daily practice things more difficult than this. We really optimize the size of the value and it's very paramount for the gradient. This device can be repositioned if you miss the first landing, so it's also interesting in terms of cost. We never observe any dislodgement. The pacemaker ratio in all the center, we always have some ranges different in the different centers according to the technique, but globally, it's the same ratio that we have, and it's finally easy to understand because there is nothing that could Im increase this rate because we do not dilate, we do not impact the valve into the analyst to be sure that it will be maintained and we will not have to push the calcium at that level because we remove it. The low uh, endocarditis level, which is reality in those series, is probably uh, linked to the fact that we don't have a lot of fabric. We don't have a colorette of suture, so the colorette is made with fabric, with sponges inside. So this is a, a, a something which can be attractive for the micro microbes to live. This device is just made with metal and pericardium. And also, this use, the use of this device may induce uh, beneficial in terms of economy. There is also something I would like to notice because it's interesting. When you have, when you do this in routine, and when you do an isolated aortic valve specimen with personnel, it lasts in routine two hours, skin to skin. So you can schedule three patients in the same OR with the same team without any extra uh, cost, extra hour of work. So this is an interesting thing also for the organization of the uh, operating theaters. And this is the reason why personally I think that this with the development of TAVI and so and so, and we could discuss of this. But this could be the future valve of choice for a lot of thing according, a lot of reason according to what we have seen uh, in this short experience. Thank you.